Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got for you guys a new 2021 SL7 Specialized Tarmac S-Works and that green E-Tap. So, uh, so this, this bike we've been looking at, trying to get it for a while. We weren't gonna get any in for a, a little bit because of this whole COVID thing, uh, but I finally got a chance to get one of these bikes in. Uh, one of my reps came by and brought it by so I can just kind of look at it and then we, we might have a demo option for uh, some consumers to get on it. But really just wanna make this video to kind of show off this color. It's insanely nice. Now granted there's some humidity here in Florida, but so the air conditioner here, but it's a green emerald color. So like, it's like very sparkly glittery, which looks gorgeous. You come on down here to a Chrome S-Works logo. So this is a full Chrome S-Works logo, which looks insane. It kind of goes off into a gloss black, which looks really, really cool. And then you come up here, it's like this like, almost like geometric geometry kind of stripes. So it looks really, really badass, man. This is one of my favorite bikes. I wanted to get my hands on it to do a video of it. Um, and just uh, just for the color aspect of it because it's insanely nice. It is overcast here in South Florida, so it's not glittering like it should be, but the color of this bike is absolutely insane. So spec and features on here. Um, this is the S-Works E-Tap. This thing is uh, $12,000. It comes with a SRAM Axis E-Tap on here and uh, it is wireless. So there is no cables running to the gear shifter. All you have is two batteries, which are stolen off the bike, but the battery would go here. One for the front derailleur and one for the rear derailleur. On the back here, you have a 12, two, uh, 12 uh, speed cassette, 33 uh, top here and a 10 on the bottom. So 10 by 33 cassette. Down the front, you have a two gear, a 48, 35 for the teeth. And it does come with a cork power meter already installed on the bike. So you are getting power meter readings on here. Uh, the wheel set is going to be their new Revol Rapid CLX wheels. Um, this is, I did a review on these already, but just to go over it again, the front wheel is wider. The internal width on here is 21 millimeters. The front width is 35 millimeters on the front wheel. And then on the rear wheel, it is much skinnier. And this is going to be uh, 31 millimeters width. And then also the internal width is still 21 millimeters. But the reason for that is the re reason why they made that width in the front so much wider is for handling and crosswinds. So that way, if you are descending, if you are riding on the on the some windy areas, it will handle crosswinds a lot better. Um, the front dish is 51 millimeters deep. The rear dish is 60 millimeters deep. Uh, you do have on the front handlebar, this is the specialized S-Works Aerofly 2 bar. You have your two housing right here to hide the cables. The cables are ran internally through the bar for the brake lines and then integrated underneath the specialized S-Works Tarmac stem. And this does have that proprietary Garmin mount, bar fly mount, Wahoo mount. And underneath here, you can run a light or a GoPro if you like. These do come with titanium bolts. And the only difference between this stem and the Venge stem is that the Venge stem was much wider to fill this gap in. So this is gonna be a lighter stem. And also this top cap does not remove as easily. Um, Full hydro brakes, like I said, hydraulic disc brakes. On here, you have a 160 in the front and a 160 in the rear. Uh, this is a 56. Uh, I just weighed it, it came in and at, what was the weight on it? I think it was like 15.01, like right, like, like I feel like you can get it right underneath 14, or under 15 pounds, like on a scale wise. But um, these are not running ceramic speed bearings on the hubs anymore. No more ceramic speed bearings on the wheels. And then the bottom bracket is just a SRAM dub bottom bracket for the SRAM model. For the Shimano Durace model, it's gonna come up with a Shimano Durace bottom bracket, but again, no ceramic bearings on these uh, on these bikes. Bottom bracket is threaded, so you do can run a threaded bottom bracket on there if you like. You have your new D-shaped aero seat post with the seat wedge integrated into the frame. And then on the back, this will be where the junction box would go if you're running DI2, so you can have that proprietary technology on there as well and then the seat is the s-works power seat but really just want to make this video to kind of show you guys this color i do have some more bikes coming up in the future um uh I'm, i got the epic pro in here as well and i got a white pro which i know you guys have been asking me for that i'm gonna do a video on later on today but i kind of wanted just to show off this video of this color man it is absolutely insane definitely a beautiful color of a bike i mean look at it. it's like you can see the speckles in there very cool the front s is also chrome so that's a gorgeous looking bike um if you are interested in this bike it is twelve thousand dollars 
and this size 56 came in at 15.01 15 pounds one ounce so absolutely insane bike if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below if you are new to the channel please feel free to like uh leave a like and subscribe i will have you having more content any questions you guys have in the future man let me know um i'll be there to answer you and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye